It is here over the course of several millennia that humans evolved the capabilities that enabled them to venture beyond the shores of our continent, to colonize new lands, and to build new civilizations. It was here on this continent that our capacity for innovation developed. It was indeed here that we developed ideas that work. It was here that we began to understand and master our physical environment. It was on our beloved continent that humans discovered what we now know as science. It therefore gives me great pleasure to address you on this occasion of the fifth CSIR conference and to mark with you the 70th anniversary of this, the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. As a country, we commend the positive progressive contribution made by the CSIR to advance science, engineering and technology in the democratic era. The work of the CSIR is helping to transform our society. It is changing the way we live, the way we do business, the way we solve problems. It is improving lives, creating opportunities and enabling us to develop more sustainably. The women and the men of the CSIR do not pursue knowledge merely for its own sake. They pursue knowledge so that they may improve the human condition. These are people, you are all people, who are developing drugs to block malaria transmission because they have a vision of a world without malaria. They are designing better public buildings because they recognize the value of safe and effective social infrastructure. They are improving the ability of our security services to detect threats and secure our borders because they want to protect lives and promote peace. They are using technology to curb poaching and conserve our environment. These scientists are using pioneering methods to measure climate change so that we are better able to slow its progress and mitigate its effects. They are supporting the growth and sustainability of small business in areas such as biotechnology because they see science as an instrument of enterprise. Science is at the center of all human progress. It is critical to our development as a nation and indeed as a continent. The first scientists evolved millions of years ago on this very continent. In 1994, we inherited an economy with deep structural deficiencies. We had to put in place interventions to ensure economic stability and inclusive growth. We are focused on transforming our economy, pursuing policies to grow strategic sectors and create employment. Investment in research and development has been an important part of our economic development strategy over the past two decades. Technological innovation is crucial for economic diversification as well as stability. As we have encouraged investment in research and development, we have worked to reconfigure and reorient our research institutions and to promote cooperation between higher education institutions, state agencies, as well as business. We know that progress towards a knowledge-based economy will be driven by a variety of elements. These include human capital development, knowledge generation, and 
exploitation, and knowledge infrastructure development. It requires that we address the gap between research results and socioeconomic outcomes. Significant progress has been made during the past two decades, but I think all of us will agree that much more still remains to be done. Science and technology is critical to our continent's economic growth and development. For centuries, Africa has provided the raw materials that have fueled the greatest industrial and technological advances in human history. But we have not had the opportunity to fully enjoy the economic and social benefit that arises from the exploitation of our resources. That needs to change. And I'm glad with the little bit that I saw just walking around this morning, hence our slight delay in starting. What I saw is something that is being done wonderfully here to begin to change that. One of the colleagues here was showing how we've got all these trees, we cut them up, we make wood chips, we make pulp, and we export the pulp. And he says, we're only extracting 47% of value from the trees that grow in our country and yet we could extract up to 97%. Now, we're beginning to change that, and I'm glad that the CSIR is at the leading edge of getting our country to move from just being an exporter of resources and being a value adder. And it is this country that will also lead the African continent when it comes to value add. We are the repository of innovation even on our continent, and the CSIR is at the cutting and leading edge, and would like to applaud the CSIR and thank you for doing precisely that for our country. The CSIR, as you celebrate 70 years of existence, has the capacity and expertise to contribute to the growth of our manufacturing sector. The organization has demonstrated this capability by supporting small and medium enterprises in the production of biotechnology-based products. And the CSIR has used laser technology to improve the competitiveness of our manufacturing industry. It has supported programs to improve the energy efficiency of large companies. The National Development Plan outlines our country's long-term vision for a more competitive, inclusive, and diversified economy. Science, technology, and innovation must be at the forefront of realizing the vision that is set out in the National Development Plan. The NDP says that science and technology must be used to address some of the problems that our country faces in education, in health, in economic development, and must facilitate access to information and technology. Already, this is happening. The departments of health and, sci and science and technology, for example, are working with the CSIR to design information and communications technology architecture for the national health insurance. We have also seen important successes in areas like HIV prevention and treatment, satellite building, paleontology, fluorochemicals, and technology for improved service delivery. Progress in developing and supporting renewable energy solutions are particularly encouraging. Government will increase its support for the work done by the CSIR and other parties in identifying strategic geographical areas that are suitable for wind and solar projects. Our country needs more science and researchers as well as engineers. Government is increasing its support for postgraduate students and researchers. We call on all scientists 
in our country, at the CSIR and other institutions, to continue to contribute to making South Africa a better place. I'm confident that with all the work that you're doing here, you will make our country successful, and that you will use these two days of conference to find innovative ways to move our country forward and to ensure our future through science. 